the line that gets drawn is always like trying to push some kind of boundary. It's sort of like each year you kind of try and top yourself and try and push sure. the boundary a little bit farther. But there is going to be a stopping point of some kind. Right. I just yeah, haven't gotten yeah. there yet. What is up, guys? Ken here. Darcy here. And we're behind the haunts. So... And I have anxiety. <laughs> so, to wrap up season three, this is the last video, and to top it all off, we're coming to you from 17th Door here in Fullerton, California, and uh, this is the most extreme haunt uh, that we've ever done. I'm gonna let Ken give you the story about how we got here. Okay, so... Obviously, you know, Darcy and I have done a, per, a lot of haunts. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot. It, <clears throat> and we wanted to step it up. So Darcy called me and he's like, hey, I found this haunt in California. It's kind of right by your place. And they can, like, they can put a bug on you and that you can come in contact with water. So I'm like, okay, this is a little bit more intense than what we're used to, but fine. And then I think you said you can come in contact with electricity. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to do this. And you're like, well, I already contacted the person and she, they responded and they said we can come. So I'm like, well... We're in for it. So I honestly thought it was going to be like a little electrical shock. All this. The, Darcy came out to California and we started doing some real research on this house because we started getting a little nervous. And I'll let you take over from that part. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we did not realize how intense this was when we signed up for it. All right. Um, this is just below probably McKamey Manor. Uh, this is probably the most extreme haunt we're ever going to do because we're never going to do McKamey Manor on this channel. Uh, so this is probably the most extreme we're going to do. And we did not realize that's the case when we signed up for it. We're actually going to put up here a little sign of everything they could do to you. You can come in contact with all that. Uh, we saw that warning before and we we're like, you know what, maybe they're just doing that to scare you. We watched almost, we did all this research and know it's all, all this is true apparently. Yeah. We won't know until we do the walkthrough. Hopefully they will show us what they're gonna do to us because we, we're freaking out. This is the first hunt where we have had anxiety days before. Yeah, I even couldn't weeks. sleep last night. Yeah, even weeks. Um, that doesn't happen often. <laughs> Ever. Well, no, yeah, no, that, that's, that's, that's never happened. Um, so we don't know what to we don't know what to expect. We don't know what we we don't know. I mean, we know what to expect slash we don't know what to expect. Yeah, I just want to reiterate that sign: suffocation, no breathing, water inhalation, uh, falling. All right, this is like yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> it's real stuff here. <laughs> um, that was the biggest warning sign I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Uh, I, again, I don't know what to say until we get through the walkthrough. Um, so we're gonna go meet Heather. We're gonna go meet Heather, and Heather, hopefully, you'll show us around a little bit to calm us down. <laughs> so. We'll see you on the other side. We'll see you. It's recording. I feel like you've stopped freaking out and I've just... I love no, your I, face. No, the quieter again. <laughs> freaking out. When I saw the bolts on the chair... I know, I'm like... I was like, no. Yep. Where did this all start? How did it come about? Um, so my husband Robbie is like the idea guy and he has nothing but ideas. We've been together for 20 plus years and the idea of an extreme haunted house came about many, many, many years ago. We were first just dating and it just like came to life in 2014. I was looking for a career change. We were brainstorming new careers and it was like, oh, let's do the haunted house together. And then that was it. It was like, yeah. And then we just took off and we opened the next year. Wow. And it's, did you think when you were doing it that it would turn into what you have now? He did. He Because did. he is like, you know, a lot of confidence. He has, he has a great vision and usually like he can make that a reality. For me, it's harder to visualize and like picture like, oh, that many people are going to come to your attraction that you're just building for the first time, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, he did. And we hit our, our goal that first year. You know, we had over 20,000 people and... And 
now we're here, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's insane, <laughs> you know? We, we look at videos online and we just see the place just absolutely crowded. Yeah, it uh, still trips me out, you know, to walk out here and like this place of ours and walk out on a busy night and just kind of like look at the queue area and see it yeah. full. It is like, it still like gets to me like, wow, this is pretty cool, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, has there any been any like room that you guys have thought of and then you're like, no, that's, that's just too crazy. We can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> how, do, how, do you, how do you know where to where to cut it off? You know that I mean? that's like, a good question. Like you know, the line that gets drawn is always like trying to push some kind of boundary. Mm -hmm. And um, my husband is the risk taker. He's the boundary pusher. I am the more like grounded, realistic one who's like, I don't know if we can do that, you know? But like I, over the years, I've come to trust that like what he sees is like as okay, actually does turn out to be okay in a way that people like really like. Yeah. Even though it does sometimes seem like, are we going too far? But um, you know, I don't know. It's sort of like, each year you kind of try and top yourself and try and push sure, the boundary a little sure. bit farther but there is going to be a stopping point of some kind right we eventually yeah, haven't gotten I mean, there yet yeah <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm excited to see because based on what we know about it yeah um and, and what happens in it uh i'm curious to see how you can i don't even know how you top that i'm yeah. gonna be honest I, yeah. I don't know how you get more extreme without Pushing the yeah, I, I don't know either. I don't know if it's a necessarily a matter of just being more extreme or if it's just a matter of doing something that's different and just as extreme. I don't know. It's hard to come up with. I don't know how he does it, coming up with all these new crazy ideas each year, you know? Yeah. That's hard. No, yeah, I, I, um, I, I don't have that mindset. But, you know, to us, like, the show that we're putting on this year is, like, it's the best one we've ever done. This is our seventh year of operation. It's never been this good. Um, that's what we're so yeah, a lot. I, I don't know. We don't know how we're going to top it, but somehow we do every year. So. Be good. I need to hear the ultimate question you always ask. Oh yeah. So what is the craziest thing that's ever happened here, customer-wise? Like oh. a funny story. Like what's the what's the? Funny oh, story, there isn't crazy a story? craziest thing. We literally sit and laugh over a million crazy things every time we sit down to have okay. lunch or dinner or anything. I mean, mean, people flash actors for some weird what? reason. I don't know why, but here, they do. You know, I'm gonna be honest here. That doesn't surprise. I mean, I'm not a hot actor. Actors, right. So like hearing from them, you know, what they go through and stuff, it's crazy. Like what the, what the guests do. It's like they're out of their minds when they go in there. You like they become if, like, someone else. Yeah, like because you're, you're under all this psychological pressure. You wonder if you just behave in ways that yeah. you never thought of. And also like, you know, you're behaving towards someone who you're not necessarily seeing as like another human. True. Yeah. So it's fair. weird. But yeah, people pee themselves and they, they throw up and all kinds of weird stuff. That's not abnormal though. Yeah. The next time we see you, we're going to have gone through the 17th door uh oh i don't know about the actual 17th door but the haunted house we're going to be the 17th sure. door yeah we're going to be going through and giving you our reactions spoiler free we want to give a huge thank you to heather for having us out and letting us get some awesome footage for you guys you're welcome thank you up guys so we went through we filmed the oh, sorry we wait we waited a little bit to uh, kind of collect ourselves so we can talk to you guys like normal beings yeah because yeah. Uh, we're gonna let you see at the end of the video when this is kind of all done that you'll see some like genuine reaction from when we first came out and yeah. you'll see that we were just a little too amped uh, to really talk <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, you yeah. want me to start I'll let you start okay <laughs> results uh, 17 rooms. Uh, I skipped two rooms. Ken skipped one room. Uh, and so I think we did pretty good. 15 mm -hmm. of 17, 16 of 17. So I want to start with that. There is a sense of accomplishment that you feel 
by even doing as much as we did. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was as bad as I was expecting, the craziness. I'll say that. I'll be very honest. But I'm just glad I did it. I was more nervous of the anticipation. Um, very crazy. So I'm, I'm going to give a little warning, if that's okay. Yeah, to people who are sensitive to most haunted houses, this one is to another level. It is. Very extreme, very crazy. It, yeah, I, I, I think I have no other words for it. Um, they put you kind of through the ringer. Yeah. Would you say? Yeah, so they get, they go with every fear, everything uh, psychologically, painful-wise, and everything. So um, we'd, we kind of did it all. What I, what I like about it is, what can kind of just touch on is, no matter who you are, no matter what you're afraid of, there's going to be something in this they're place that they're going to get you. Yeah. Like no one is immune to this. Yeah. Um, and I think that's great because I think there's a lot of people like us who kind of don't get quite as scared by normal haunted houses, you know? Yeah. And uh, someone jumping out and going, boo. And so this really allows someone like us to really get scared. Yeah. Uh, and not just for 30 minutes, but for days leading up. Oh to yeah. It. Yeah. Days leading up to it. I'm going to be thinking about this for the next few days. Um, it, it was great guys. Uh, just go in there with an open mind and read all those warning signs and take them seriously. Yep. And, <laughs> and, 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 and take them yeah. seriously. Um, cause it's not a joke. Those signs are, are real. They're not there. They're not one of those haunted houses where they make you sign a waiver just to scare you. Like you literally, they, they liability issues yep. with the labor. Listen to directions. Yes. And that's the best advice I can give you. Cause if you don't listen to directions, uh, not gonna have a good time. Yeah, you're not gonna have a very <laughs> well, good time. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. This okay. this is this is cool. This is the first extreme haunt we've ever done. We always were like, why do people like before we went in? We saw that like, people were like, oh, we want to go back. We go back every year. It was so much fun. I mean, kind of like how? Like yeah, what? Why? I could understand it. It's it's an experience. I, I could definitely see it. Yeah, I could definitely see the fun in it. Um, but, but yeah, guys. Yeah, uh, can I just? I want to give a shout yeah. out to the actors in this place. Yeah, because without these actors doing as good of a job as they did, mm -hmm. it would just kind of be like a really intense, scary thing. But like they they make it they make it better, you know. Yeah, the thing with these actors, they're very intimidating. You're gonna go in there knowing you're gonna get hurt, but you would think they would be mean to you, be like, haha, good luck. They're actually they stay in character and they actually give you good advice. They're very nice to you. They calm you down surprisingly. Right. right. Um, I don't know who we were talking to in the front, but he calmed us down a little bit. He gave us good advice in there, and that really helped us, actually. And to be honest, like before I went, he calmed me down a little bit. So actors are great. Um, Heather was great. Everyone treated us well. Um, 17th Door in Fullerton, California, guys. You need to go. And then this is my last thing I'm going to say. Yeah. If you're thinking about it, go do it. Just do it. You're going to be happy that you did it. The worst comes to worst, guys. You can say mercy. You, can, you don't need to go in every room. Just go. You can literally not go through the house but at go all. Yeah, the house. you could pay yeah. the money and then just mercy your whole way yeah. through the whole house. But you can see what it is. Right. Um, so it's something we recommend. 17th Door in Fullerton, California, guys. Our most extreme haunt. I think it's going to be our most extreme haunt for a while. And it's the only haunt in the history that we did not fully complete. Yeah. Uh, so congrats to you, 17th yeah. Door. You cracked behind the haunts. <sighs> Good job. Again, we'll put some footage at the end of this, uh, but if you like this video, please leave a like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for joining Behind the Haunts in Season 3. Is this is our last one. Don't do it! No. He, like, puts it right in my... Yeah, he actually had it moving. He's like, oh, oh. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. other way. And then he went like, oh, and he put it down the shirt. Then he grabbed another one and went in my pocket and went like yeah, this. Went, so yeah. I crushed it. Did you see me? I was crushing it. <laughs> and I was like dumping it. Because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck was in there. Oh my God, that's, it's insane. It's actually yeah. insane. The elevator's my favorite room. The, really? The clown was my favorite <laughs> room. Dude, that was just weird. I looked at your face the whole time. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. But okay. It was fun. I'm it glad. It was fun. We're going to get our shit together and then we'll talk. Yeah, we'll tell you. It was fun. It was good.